Jacob in the Bible was the first Yahoo boy. He was fraudulent in everything, Prophet Abiodo says in a recent video making a round on social media. And then Fanny Coyote blast Daily Trust journalists and ask him to actually stand up. <laughs> Nigerian, um, you know, um, lady runs mad after coming down from a Toyota Venza in Auchi, <laughs> those teeth. These are many other things I'll be talking about in this particular video. Just before I jump right in, I want you guys to kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit the subscribe button below and the bell notification icon if you are yet to subscribe to this YouTube channel. But if already subscribed, thank you for subscribing and make sure you share my videos across all social media platforms so that others will get to see what is trending and what we are talking about on social media. Guys, just before I jump right in, I still want to talk this again because I don't know how many of you have, uh, have gone to actually check out um, Best Davis Show. It's actually a Nigerian, um, you know, actor based in US, and then he, a lot of people are learning great things from this particular guy. And then you can just try and you know check out his YouTube channel, Best Davis Show, and you will get to understand because I'll be posting the link below. And see, I Guys, Jacob in the Bible was the first Yahoo boy. He was fraudulent in everything. Prophet Abiodun, a Nigerian prophet, says, and now social media is reacting to this and calling out this man <laughs> for saying that. But you have to understand because uh, you know when you look at the story from different point of view, you will get to understand a lot of things about this story. And this is what this person has come out to actually you know narrate and say in a recent video. But how do you actually see this in a recent? Uh, uh, the CDs and understand because I want you to actually be making a comment below because uh, right now some people are saying that man not mind the guy is trying to justify um, people like Hush Poppy, Evictus and some Nigerians that are fraudulent and you have to understand that you know <laughs> when I saw the video it was all interesting for me but I want you to actually listen to him if you hear Yoruba Honestly, my own opinion, Jacob is number one. Number one Yahoo boy is Jacob. Number one for one nine kingpin is Jacob. Bobo Kolo Fijali. Bobo Kolo Fijali. Odele and Otu Lujibiti. Odele and Okoya will meet you on Yakono. Ah! Kosara Tioda! Guys, don't forget to drop your comment about this whole thing because I don't know how Sagote start today. You know, explain this kind of things. <laughs> this is all. Um, you know, it's a bit interesting to actually understand because when you look at the story of Jacob in the Bible, you will see that Jacob was actually fraudulent, deceived Saul to you know get the best right and the rest. But this guy is linking it to Yahoo boys. You know, making around um, <laughs> in. Nigeria especially and other countries uh, around the world and this is all interesting because uh, some people are just you know kind of appreciating this guy's boldness and then supporting this guy <laughs> what do you have to say about prophet Abiodun saying this that Jacob in the Bible was the first Yahoo boy he was fraudulent in everything according to him which which bankroll for to do what who can give me money for anything who do you think you are talking to? Fanny Kayode was on an uh, interview session, a press conference, you know, actually um, lashed out at a particular journalist for asking who has been back rolling his, um, you know, visits to most of the government projects across the country. And this guy, uh, this man was, um, you know, a one time minister of uh, aviation, actually fled up and started blasting this guy. And now the social media is reacting because this is too bad for him. That is what I believe about the whole thing. But the last time I checked his uh, Twitter page, he actually 
actually apologized and took back his words but you need to actually understand that man these people um you know that is not cool of him at all because he is not supposed to flare up because um the the essence of journalism is to know and to ask questions and report it to the outside world but is he trying to actually um humiliate uh, journalists in nigeria but i still blame the journalists in that particular con uh, press conference because none of them spoke anything it appears that they were actually afraid of him that is one thing i believe no wonder um Persons like um, you know um, uh, Shiwara always blast most Nigerian journalists for not you know standing up defending their integrity across the country. Let me um, give you the video to actually watch. Which which bankroll for to do what? Who can give me money for anything? Who do you think you are talking to? I'm sorry, sir. Bankroll what? Go and report yourself to your publisher. Bankroll what? Please don't insult me here. Okay. I don't want to take no. any questions oh, yeah, from this man. It's okay. Very stu I could see from your face before you got here, how stupid you are. Don't ever talk to me like that. Who do you think you're talking to? Bankroll who? You think, you think that I, I, I'm one of those ones you'll be, from who, from how, when, where, how? You have a small mind, very small mind. Don't judge me by your own standards. I've been in politics since 1990. I'm not one of these politicians you think will just come. I was taking, I've been locked up how many times by this government? Suffered. I've been persecuted. Unlike most of the politicians you follow for brown and blue, you don't don't ever judge me by that standard. I spend, I don't take, and I'm not a poor man. I've never been, and I will never be. But those things he said was uncalled for. That is something I believe about the whole thing because you need to actually understand that um, you know if at that level you could not manage your temper, I think you can't manage it you know at any level that is one thing i believe because um series of videos of him you know lashing at journalists a lot of people calling them stupid has been making viral on social media a lot of people are digging out you know his past interviews and now um it appears that man this is not the first time of him doing that but i to an extent i blame the journalist because he never spoke anything instead he stood up and then what is that that is something that you know um most of the young people they are not going to do this thing that is something i believe about the whole thing but let's leave that to him and uh, he actually came out on social media to apologize but they want to make it um press conference let him go to a tv station and issue that apology to the um to the person and to journalists um around the world that is something i would say at this particular time a video made viral on social media nigerian lady runs mad after coming down from a toyota venza in Auchi a states and then some people are liking it to be like the issue of yahoo boys and rituals and the rest and you have to understand that most ladies i don't i don't know what is wrong because the way they follow money and uh, in the end most times is always um you know too bad for them deadly for them and at this particular time i don't know what to say but i believe that um, maybe something must have happened uh hard drugs from hard drugs and a lot of things you know other things must have happened but some people are saying that yes is an issue of um you know um rituals is an issue of spirituality and the rest but what do you have to actually say about this because when i start talking about yao boys right now a lot of people will start you know talking me down commenting some kind of things and aggravating i want you to actually drop your comment and say your own feelings about these stories so far just before i jump off i want you guys to kindly subscribe to my youtube channel hit the subscribe button below and the bell notification icon if you are yet to subscribe to this youtube channel but if already subscribed thank you for subscribing and make sure you share my videos across all social media platforms so that others will get to see what is trending and what we are talking about as a people on social media I love you guys.